Hi there guys, and I'm here to review the movie Back to the Future. So this film is about um, Marty McFly, played by Michael J. Fox, who is a teenager, and um, he's friends with this old scientist called Doc Brown there, played by Christopher Lloyd. And uh, Doc invents the, um, this time machine that's a uh, car there. And um, basically, Marty gets uh, his, um, these terrorists come and attack them. And um, he gets stuck in the year 1955, and um, he has to find the, uh, he finds like the older, uh, the past uh, doc um, to help him um, get back, get back to the future, which is the current time, which now is the past because it's the 80s. And um, also, he accidentally um, meets his parents and stops the way that they, his parents met. Um, and his mum is now falling in love with him instead of his um, dad. So it's about also about trying to get his parents to fall in love, <laughs> and uh, like getting uh, the dad to stand up to the school bully Biff. And this movie, ah. Uh, this is just honestly one of the best you know movies ever made. I mean, it's just such a great feel-good movie. I mean, who doesn't love Back to the Future? I mean, really. I mean, it's it's really um, <clears throat> like the scenes in the eighties. They're just great. Yeah, they're su it's such an eighties movie when it's in the eighties, and the fifties bits feels very fifties. They were very accurate to the time. Yeah, yeah, um, and I love the 80s bits. Of course, the film was made in 1985, but they were very accurate with uh, the 50s. And the, the bully, uh, Biff, he, he um, wants Lorraine as well, who's Marty's mum. And like, he's quite um, sexist, and like, he forces him on it, which, um, which yeah, that's uh, kind of accurate to the time, because... People were, you know, sexist at the time. And yeah, it's like it's over thirty years old, and like, it's it's kind of. I think it might be a perfect movie. I mean, like, Trilby Reviews did a video about the one problem with um Back to the Future, and I think that is a like a pretty like it's a problem, but it's a pretty small problem really. And um, the other films do have some more problems, but I feel. I honestly feel like the first one might be a perfect film, like apart from that one problem. <clears throat> and uh and you know, I mean I love um Marty, you know, he's like the average like eighties teenage boy and um he's very uh likable. And uh I love um Doc Brown, he's a great um, scientist and he's a genius really I mean I think and uh, yeah I think the scene of them going back to the future of course yeah you know, I think that's such an epic um, scene really you know I mean you know, of Doc trying to get the wire attached and um, you know Marty driving in the car and it's such an epic scene it's so intense you know I mean, it's just, and you know, he wrote, like, you know, like when he wrote him a letter, like, that was very nice, you know, it's just such a great feel-good movie, yeah, and yeah, I love the uh, music in this, like, I love the sort of, like, very 80s music, like, the song The Power of Love by uh, Huey Lewis in the news, and um, at the end, the song Back in Time, those are really good. And um, I love a lot of the old um, 50s songs like um, Mr. Sandman, Give Me a Dream, and there's Johnny Be Good, which um, Marty sings at the uh, Enchantment Under the Sea dance. And uh, the score as well like, by uh, Alan Silvestri in it, um, that's very good. Like The score is like the instrumental music that plays um, during the film. Like, that's what I mean. And I love how um, Marty makes, like, in the 50s, he makes, like, references to things that um, 
people who don't know, there's like a like Calvin Klein that's on his underwear and <clears throat> and uh because people don't know what Calvin Klein is yet in the 50s, and uh, he references, like, says, I'm Darth Vader from the planet of Vulcan, because, of course, in the 50s, they didn't, people, no, uh, Star Wars and, um, Star Trek didn't exist then, so, and, um, when he plays Van Halen to, um, his dad, and he doesn't know what that music is yet, yeah, um, and, um, and when he plays like Johnny Be Good, um, which was a song I don't think had come out yet, but I think did come out in the fifties though. Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> and I think it's great. Like, t t it kind of teaches you to like stand up for yourself and like stand up to bullies and whatever. Because you know, at the beginning you see um. Marty's dad gets like pick, still gets picked on by his school bully, and then when you know Marty goes back in time and changes it, he makes him stand up for for himself, and you know, he hits him in the face, and then and then in then he goes back to nineteen eighty five. It's changed, and now Biff is his bitch. <laughs> like that's just so great. I mean, I just love this movie seriously so much. It. It is my favourite film in the Back to the Future trilogy, and it's just truly one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, if you haven't seen it for some reason, please do check it out, and bye.